Hey guys, I'm going to go over the Essentials Chat configs for you. So first let's go over to the File Manager, Plugins, Essentials, and go to the config. Let's look for Essentials Chat. So if you want to enable this first, the Add Prefix and Player List, you can enable it. When this is set to true and is not disabled, this will actually put the prefix within the player list when you press tab. And if you want suffixes to be in there as well, make sure to change this one as well. Then let's go down here. There we go, Essentials Chat. Now basically the only thing you're really going to want to change here is this one right here. The display name and message, you can change it to whatever you want. You should let your permissions plugin actually worry about the prefixes and the color coding and everything. It makes it so much easier. So if you want to get rid of the little carrots on the end here, you can just delete those. What I like is having the actual display name come up, put a colon there, space, and then message. I also usually put the color code 7, which I believe is for gray. So now when somebody talks in the chat, it will show their display name, colon, and then their message in gray. You can also add other things such as group, which I usually like to put that in as well. And I'll usually put this in brackets, like such. So now it will actually show within brackets their group, and then their display name, and then a colon, and then it'll change their message to gray, and it'll be whatever they type. But like I said before, you should really use your permissions plugin to handle the suffixes and color codes and everything. So whatever you change the suffix to or the prefix is what will show up before or after this. Once you're done with all this, click save. Let's go back to my server and restart. So I just wanted to jump in and show you real quick. If you type test. This is basically what the chat shows up as with the default here because I'm in the default group right now. And then Saikitsune, which is my username or display name, the colon, and then a gray test because that's what I typed. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check the description for more Essentials X tutorials.